How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to crack out a CGC book. Now, what are some of the reasons why someone might want to crack out a book to begin with? Well, it could be, um, I've had people say, you know, I like to read the actual comic book. I don't want to read a reprint. So some people crack it out. Um, some people crack it out because they don't like CGC graded books but they happen to buy one and so they just want to crack it out to put in their collection. <clears throat> a lot of times they'll keep the label, the label, sorry, um, and put that in the bag and backboard so it kind of keeps its value a little bit. Um, or they don't agree with the grade that CGC gave it and so they want to crack it out and maybe resubmit it. So those are some reasons why someone would do something like that. Um, the tools that you'll need is pretty simple. A screwdriver, flathead, and scissors. Possibly um, some pliers, but I'll get into that later at a different time. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty simple. I'll show you basically step by step how to get, go through and crack out the book. I know some people um, might not like the case. Let's say it's in an older case and they might want to resubmit it. Um, usually they have CGC crack those out, but I always tell people don't do that because when you resubmit for a new case, CGC regrades it. And I've done a video on that before. And you could get a worse grade. I had a guy to ask me if he should resubmit his spawn number one, which is a nine nine, but it's in the old case. And you know how sometimes they'll have like you can have pictures of like spawn or superheroes or whatever up there. He wanted to ruin those. And I was like, you do realize you could send it in to get this new case and they could regrade it at nine eight and then you lost a ton of money because you wanted the new case. I told him like, get a nine eight, get that in the new case. And then keep your 9.9 in the old case. It's just something you have to deal with. All right, so let's, uh, let's jump into this. Okay, so first, you have the book. And if it's an older case, right, you can usually pull apart because, because the case is split into two. There's two sides. There's a back and a front. And then they glue the seams. And normally, you can pull something around on the older case and something will give. So you can put your screwdriver in between the two layers um, or the two sides. But if not the case, what you can do, you take on newer cases, you take the book, right, like this, and you just kind of give it a little twist to loosen up some of the seams. And what you're going to find is it's going to be on the top. So you're going to come up here at the top, right, and you take your hands and you can pry a little bit apart. So what you'll do is you can take your screwdriver and there. You see? Right, put it inside so you can see up here. All right, and what you want to do is give it a little twist. Twist, slide it down, twist. As you can see, when you twist, see that how it's popped up this edge? So then what you'll do is you'll come over here, twist a little bit, and you'll put it down further in, right? Next to the side, give it a little twist, give it a little twist, give it a little twist. All right, and then we'll come over to the other side. All right. Run along, twist, twist. Yep, and then as you see, it's going down, twisting along as you go down.
So now you got it open quite a bit. And you just keep doing that all the way down. As you can see, you're slowly getting more and more. You just take your screwdriver, put it inside the crack, twist, twist, and pretty soon it's just gonna give way. As you see, I pretty much got the whole thing opened. Then I can slide the book out. And there. So then you're left with this outer cover kind of thing. If you look closely, you can see a glue line, right? It goes up around the whole thing. That's where you want to cut. So you take your scissors. Cut along the glue line. There we go. Then I'll take the top. There's a glue line up there as well. Just like see how much see how far I am away from the book. Very far. This will just open it up. Then I cut those. Oh, I think it was a little. There we go. There we are. It's right across the glue line. And then I can slide this book out. It's hard to do it in a reverse order. Um, yeah, so there's the book. Look at the couple first pages. CGC usually puts a little piece of paper in there somewhere. Usually does. Okay. Oh, there's one. Usually it's two, but I guess they only had one in this one. Let's make sure. Yep. And there you go. That is how you crack out a book out of a CGC case. Uh, CBC is gonna be the same, CBCS will probably be the same thing. Um, also I, oh, one thing is with these labels, right? You can take these labels out and if you send them to CGC, they will take them off the census. And a reason why you'd wanna do that is because or there'll be a bunch of books that are on the census, right? But aren't really on the census. They're call it, kind of called like ghost grades. Um, so yeah, you can take these out. I usually stockpile a bunch of these and I send them all back to CGC and I hope that they do what they're supposed to do and take them off the census because once you crack them out, they no longer exist. So it's definitely beneficial, especially if you have something super rare. If you have a comic book that's like, you know, one of two or something like that and you're like hey i cracked out and took it off now there's only one left you know it, it definitely helps uh with the more rare stuff obviously a book like this tomb of dracula 33 there's just going to be a ton on the census already especially in the 90 range and even higher so you don't need to worry too much about that one but uh other books yeah definitely um, they're worth, you know, taking off the sense, especially rare and more expensive. Um, awesome. I hope you like this video on how to crack out a case book. I hope this is helpful for you. Like I said, a couple tools, scissors, screwdriver. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, please think about subscribing. It'd really help out my channel. Um, and you know, if you are, thank you and feel free to leave a like and a comment. And yeah, if uh, 
feel free to check out my website, uh, collectorscomics.com, and link to my music is down below as well. Um, all right, have a great day. Thanks. <laughs>